Hi you guys, it's Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. This dress has easily become one of my top five all-time favorite things I've ever made. I can't wait to share all the details with you guys. Okay, so the fabric. This gorgeous navy and cream stripe is a cotton lycra stretch sateen from Fabric Mart Fabrics. It's all sold out now, but you can find a similar look by searching for a sateen that's 97% cotton and 3% lycra. The pattern is Butterick 6466, I believe from last fall. I made the knee length sleeveless version with the pleated skirt, so I mixed up the versions there a little bit. The bodice is lined and there are separate pattern pieces for the outer fabric and the lining fabric, which I absolutely love. The directions for the lining are very good, giving a good crisp finish on the neckline and arm size. The only thing that I don't like about the way the pattern is constructed is that the zipper tape isn't concealed between the lining and main fabrics. In the future, I would consider adding bias binding to the center back seam to conceal the zipper tape. The wrap detail is very flattering and is drafted really well. It's not very low cut like some other wrap designs can be. The three side pleats are so slimming at the waistline too. I wasn't originally planning to do the sash, but after getting the dress sewn, I decided I'd need to break up the stripes a little bit more, but I didn't want to have a free sash. I wanted to attach it. So I sewed it into the center back seam. It doesn't leave the most perfect invisible zipper in the back, but I'm okay with that. I like the fact that the sash isn't loose and I'm considering other ways to accomplish this without sewing it into the invisible zipper seam. Oh, and Wonder Tape to the rescue again to get those perfectly matching stripes across the center back bodice and skirt side seams. Speaking of side seams, this pattern comes with inseam pockets, which honestly I've been adding to all my dresses lately, but it's nice that this one has them included. One small change I made that I mentioned a little bit before is that I swapped out the lapped zipper for an invisible one. Other than that, I followed the directions exactly. All in all, I really love this pattern and I especially love how it turned out with the fabric. I can't wait to make another one. So that's it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!